little line update for you guys. Uh, again, it's a nice Saturday afternoon. Really nice. I'm actually, I was right in the middle of cleaning this garage up and stuff, but uh, I decided to take a little break and uh, do this video. But uh, today I have the, these four juices here. I've got uh, a ruby red uh, grapefruit that I'm gonna try. That's really that's scaring me a little bit. I don't even like grapefruit, to tell you the truth. Uh, I have this blackberry juice right here. I have the uh, pineapple juice, and I'll, I also have cranberry, blueberry, blackberry juice that I'm gonna try. So uh, I'll go ahead and I'll start off with the. Uh, the grapefruit juice. Get it out of the way. We'll test it with my uh, hydrometer. And then we're going down the line and so forth. I'm trying to make this as quick as possible because uh, I got to get back to cleaning this junk up around here. But, uh, okay. Stay tuned, guys. Alright, guys. I got it all siphoned in here. Uh, this is the uh, ruby red grapefruit. Uh, I'm going to quickly test this out and see where we're at. And by the way, I got my little helper over here, as you can see. <laughs> but anyway, let's try it out. Okay, we're at 1.010. So this is actually going to be slightly sweet. Because we were at uh, 1.120 to begin with. So usually, uh, so we'll have probably about 13 or 14% alcohol by volume on this one. So I'll keep that right there. I'll go ahead and bottle this one up. And I'll be back with the uh, blackberry. I got it back and I got the, uh, the blackberry done here. I'm going to test it out real quick. Let me get a measurement on this. I hope this is good. Woo! 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 Guys, this is actually pretty good. This is almost reaching the uh, point nine. Nine zero mark. This is actually the one point zero 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 is actually under water level here. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but I mean, yeah, it's pretty much right there at point uh, nine 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 zero, which is good, very good. I like that. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bottle this one up real quick, and I'll be back with the uh, pineapple here. So stay tuned. Alright, we're back. I got some uh got some pineapple here. It's pretty clear. Pretty good. Let me go ahead and test this out. Wow, that's pretty that's that's again that is at uh point nine nine zero. That's as good as the other stuff. So, yeah, we should have, now I hope I've been using a different yeast, it's a 71B-1122, not the 118, like these uh, uh, other two that I did. Well, actually the uh, cranny grape was the same yeast. But as for this one and that one, it's the uh, 1118, the Loudman 1118. And uh, we're going to see how this turns out. It does smell alcohol, I tell you that. So we should have a good batch here. So I'll be right back. I'm going to ball this one up and we'll come back with the other one. Okay. Stay tuned. Okay. I've got the, uh, this is the uh, cranberry, blueberry, and blackberry right here that I got. I'm going to uh, check this one out. All of them is actually uh, test out fine, except for the uh, what was the first one? The uh, the grapefruit. It was a little, it's gonna be 
a little sweet. But as for these others, they should be pretty good. Let's try this one. Oh yeah, see we're good. We're right on the money with uh, 1.000, which is the uh, specific gravity of water. So this one's, this is completely done too. So uh, we might have a pretty good batch this time around with all of them actually. So I'll go ahead and bottle this one up. Man, that actually smells really good. You can really smell the uh, the blueberry and the alcohol in this one. But yeah, I can't wait to taste that. One. But uh, stay tuned, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and bottle this one up, and then I'll come back with a taste test. All right, all right, guys. Uh, now for the taste test, I'm gonna start off with the uh, the grapefruit here. Start off with the grapefruit. Here we go. This was actually reading a little sweet, so this did not ferment all the way, but it is quite cloudy. It is quite cloudy. Uh, smells kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know what it smells like, but uh, cheers. We're gonna try it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it's, it, it's so it is grapefruity. Yeah. It's got that bitter taste to it, and it's definitely got the alcohol to it. So yeah. If you like grapefruit, then this will definitely be the wine for you right here. Woo, man. Yeah, nice. This has a slight carbonation, not much. But uh, I, I never was uh, too fond of uh, grapefruit, but grapefruit man this is pretty good man it is it's definitely drinkable I will drink it so I definitely will give that if I like grapefruit I give it a uh, hundred percent but since I don't like grapefruit all that much I'm gonna give it about a 90 percent so that's that is drinkable so let's go to the uh, blackberry now this one was uh, this one actually red 0 0.990 or close to it anyway. So we're gonna try this out. And again this is quite cloudy. It is quite cloudy. It smells very good. <laughs> it smells very good. It smells uh you smell the alcohol. You can definitely smell a blackberry. It kind of, kind of tastes, uh, smells like the uh, the Welch's grape, uh, Concord grape. But uh, let's try it. Cheers. Whoa. Okay. And again, every time it's going to be a little carbonation to it. You can definitely taste the blue, uh, the blackberry. It's definitely there, and the alcohol is definitely there. So this man, this is a shoot. This is 120 percent plus, man. Wow, that's good. That's good. That's definitely uh, 100 percent there. Okay. Now. We got the uh, pineapple. Give it a, we're gonna give it a go and see what it tastes like. This one is actually 
actually pretty clear. It's got a little bit of haze to it, but not much. But first initial smell. Well, guys, the smell, it, it don't smell too hot. I mean, it kind of smells like a urinal or something. Oh, cheers. Let's try it. Uh, it actually tastes like pineapple with alcohol. Yeah, but it smells like a urinal. It smells like urine or something. But it actually tastes pretty doggone good. Okay. Very drinkable. I give that 100% also. I give the smell 50, but uh, the taste and alcohol, it's definitely 100%. Again, a little hazy. It's probably got a little carbonation to it also. They all start off a little hazy at first, but once I rack them the second time, they get much clearer. And uh, I'll let them sit for a couple of days and the taste actually improves too. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, cheers. Let's try this one.
that loud in 1118. The uh, the taste, it, the aftertaste is like it, it leaves it like a. Uh, a a certain sweetness in, in your wine. I don't like. But I went out this morning to the winery and I got some uh, the Lauvin K1-116. I bought six of the, six packets. Come home and actually ended up with one packet of K1-116 and the other ones were the 771B-1122. So it's, they messed me up there. But hey, you know, I, I can deal with it. And, uh, you know, I can deal with it. And they're right, we can deal with that. Ah, ah. Say hey to camera, say hey to YouTube. Say hey YouTube. What's up YouTube? But anyway, okay. I might have to go change your diaper if you smell. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I go take care of some business, get this stuff cleaned up, get her cleaned up, and uh, later I'll be doing this right here. And in the meantime, I'll be sipping on me some wine and watching a uh, movie called Vice. I don't know if you guys heard of it, but uh, I was checking it out. And I haven't really caught every bit of it, but you know, I think you're I'll watch the whole thing tonight, maybe or something, but uh, anyway. Not important. Thanks again, guys, for watching, and this is uh, Bobby signing off.